Hey everyone, welcome back. This morning, we're all packed up for another adventure. We're headed to Cumberland Falls State Park. Sorry uh, about the introduction. I bought a new mic for the uh, <clears throat> GoPro 8. And it didn't work during the uh, introduction. This is the first time out with the uh, ESP 1910 Rockwood pop-up camper. Uh, so it's going to be interesting how it accommodates us and how well it performs. Uh, next week I'll be giving a review on all the likes and dislikes. What's good about it, what's not good about it. And uh, hopefully it's all good. All right. So... Let's do some final checks, make sure everything's secure, and uh, we'll hit the road. Well, we arrived. Now it's time to unpack and set up. So, at the snap of the fingers. It's early morning Friday. We're at Cumberland Falls State Park. I'm getting ready to uh, like down to the uh, falls. It's been raining, so hopefully uh, we can get a little sunshine out. It's supposed to be clearing up. And uh, we'll see what happens. But, uh, nobody else is here. So we'll have the place by ourselves for a little bit. And uh, we'll see what we can get. All right, happy trails. Welcome to Cumberland Falls State Resort Park. You can hear the falls. Can't see anything. You can hear it. The visitor center and the gift shop. Well, this is the beach area. Pretty big beach area. So you got a raft outfit that takes you up to the falls. So these rock formations. Good morning everyone, back again. Doing some long exposures. Um, this is just an absolutely beautiful place. All these rock formations surrounding me. Nobody out here. This is a quiet, beautiful morning. You know that it's... It's a good 20 feet. Yeah, big timbers up on there. 
shows you how fast and deep this water will get going. And from back history, when this is flooding, the falls will get 300 feet wide. It's pretty big. Uh, then uh, you got disgusting people who uh, leave their trash behind. What a shame. A beautiful area. Pack it out, guys. Pack it out. more light daylight that is see the sheer rock cliffs big boulders Just stop the rain in. I think that's pretty good long exposures. Use an ND filter. Unfortunately, it's what whatever boys got caught up in. It's a flash flood. Rudy couldn't save him. That was a horrible day. It's my daughter's birthday also. He was such a good boy. Such a happy boy. It broke my heart to see that. I'm not sure if they allow dogs out here. No, a lot of the other trails they do. This being so populated. Matching the trout fishing down here is pretty good. And setting up the pop-up camper wasn't too bad just putting up the uh, doggy fence uh, um mill it just wasn't working it worked but took longer than it should have but it's up Jane did a fantastic job uh, don't have to be on a leash campsite's okay and do a little leveling today get that one side level do I like full hookup sites no nope. rather go to primitive 
sights. Just looking at these footprints, weird. have access down here by the railing it's uh, clocked off because I guess all this debris it took a while to clean up because this is a nice beach this area rain you can stop anytime honest I'll let you Fall sinuses are really my enemy. Oh man, I've seen a big trout jump over there. That's cool. Let's see if he does it again. Debris. It's in the force of the water moving all this. Swimming loud. What an adventurous morning. Jane didn't come along because uh, a few weeks ago she got broke her heel and blew out her knee removing furniture. We are donating it to. Shell Toey Trace. It's a long trail. This is number one. It's a nice visitor center. Thirty. I've only seen three people. All right, time for breakfast. Some wild turkeys. And uh, the horseback riding out here. Still waiting on the girls to get here. They're coming up. So, so take advantage of the time. This way. This way. Do a little exploring. Come. Thank you. 
So let me show you a little about the uh, compound design. Got a steel pipe in here, sits right on it. So pivot back and forth. It's Jane's design. The gate's Jane's design too. She put it all assembled it. And then uh, just got these uh, steel poles in there with the fencing around. And it goes all the way around. <laughs> So, dogs don't have to be on a leash. Don't have to worry about them. Oh, isn't that all? Oh. What do you see? What do you see? You gonna say hi? Say hi, Frank. Let Tico say hi. Where's Tico? There he is. Say hi, Tico. There's Gracie. So far, it's worked really well. Isn't it, guys? 